Ronnie and Ty really wanted to have reclaimed materials in their tree fortress. So I found a place outside of Austin where I can find some good old fashioned wood that I'd like to use for the exterior siding and maybe some window trim and door trim. Look at all that wood. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, wow. Whoa, whoa. Pete. Jeff. Hey. I talked to you on the phone. Yeah, nice to meet you in real life. Mm. Yeah. Wood yeah. guy. It's yeah. another wood guy. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jeff. I'm the president of This Old Wood. We sell reclaimed wood, flooring, and other applications here in Austin. This is Rufus, Rufus. our mascot. What is this pink building about? So it is used that... to be a dance hall. It was in Columbus, Texas. We took it down piece by piece and made this 2,000 square foot wood shop, pink siding and all. Come on in. I'd love to show you how we do this. Okay. Longleaf pine that were in buildings from 100 years ago. That's longleaf pine is really the specialty, I guess, of this particular shop. It's a superior softwood, and it holds up really well over time. They don't make this stuff anymore, and that's exactly what I need. This is from 1920s. It yeah. all has vertical grains, right. uh, so you'll have vertical lines running the full length of it. This is straight out of the house, so we have pulled the nails, and we're going to run it through the planer and peel off that top layer of grime and varnish and everything like that. When it comes in, it's in the form of just the way they found it in these old houses. It's dusty and musty. I love it. It's like music. Nice. That is the stuff. Look at that. Take that first surface off, and you get that redolent smell of the resins and that pine. Smell that. Oh, you yeah. smell it all the time, but I mean, wow. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful stuff. I have a laundry list of things that I've got in my head, but maybe I should match that up with what you've got in your yard. Yeah. After you. Come on. These are from 1895. The building had a fire in the 50s, and so you can see the charring on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this stuff, how long is it? Massively that? heavy, 26 feet long. So as we start to explore the lumber yard, I mean, everywhere I look, there's stuff that I want. Hey, hey, what do we have back here? You've been, <laughs> you've been hiding some stuff on me? Oh, definitely. Oh, 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 oh. See, now. That's nice, right? That's the stuff. That's all that long leaf right there. Absolutely. It's all denailed. It's stacked beautifully. A lot of two by six, two by 10. There's some beadboard in there. It's got the patina on it. This reconnaissance mission was a success. All right. Ooh, that smell is so good, too. Ah. You know, the amount of stuff that I need today, I'm going to send a trailer back. But this old wood, home run, awesome. Jeff, thank you. Hey, thanks for coming out, Pete. I loved it, loved it. We got wood. Yeah, baby. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. I'm trying to think of what the best angle is. Don't look up. You're not, don't look up. Okay. okay. Yeah. Ronnie and Ty are all about bettering their community. And this little tree fortress that we've created is going to be the place where they come up with plans that are going to be incredible. I know it. I'm going to take you right to the, <laughs> right to the spot that I think is exactly perfect. And now I get the pleasure of showing it off to them. And it's going to be so fun. We're going to go three, two, one, and then on zero, you can look out. Okay. I'm just trying to draw this out. <laughs> OK, here we go. We're ready to get in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> three, two, one, zero. Oh, my wow. God. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that looks great. That's oh, awesome. my goodness. Look wow. at, take it in. Take it in. <laughs> it's perfection beyond our expectations. Wow. wow. Yeah, I mean, that was awesome. There's a lot of stuff going on. I love it. Got the knight there. Knight in shining armor. Yeah. I love Griffins. doors. Look at that door. I felt like I could actually enter into a different time, a different place, a different space. You know, it actually looked medieval. So cool to see what our moth of trees has become. Ah. Your moth. A moth of oak. Awesome. You want to go see it? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ronnie and Ty were ecstatic, but now I'm just dying to get up on the deck and show them the rest of the treehouse fortress. Okay, now before we go inside, I just want you to sort of look around. Oh my so goodness. So there's a place to sit. Wow. Oh. Yes. Now, remember the wood that you were hoping to acquire that would be, you know, repurposed? All this came out of some old buildings in Austin. That's all longleaf pine. Being able to have that reclaimed wood in the treehouse, it was awesome. So it's got that history to it already. Wow. Isn't that fun? 
the iron and then the wood and then the soft and the hard. And there's a synergy that's created once they get together uh, that you don't have when those pieces are uh, apart from each other, just individual pieces. But when you bring them together, it's just, it makes something wonderful. You ready for this? We're ready. Da, da, da. Wow. <laughs> Please, after you, my lord, my lady. Wow. Isn't this something? You've got this wonderful uh, glass ceiling. I love that. The opening, it's like hope, because you look up and it's something that you haven't seen before, but there's an expectation of uh, what's to come. This is a special stained glass piece. That it's kind of got that Middle Ages thing going on, I would wow. say. Wow. The amount of attention that was paid to detail in the design of the treehouse was amazing. The elephant in the room, <laughs> two elephants in the room. <laughs> You like to try I've them out. I've been trying to contain myself. <laughs> See what you think. The first thing I saw when we opened the big doors were those thrones. Look. I love it. I uh, feel good. Regal. <laughs> yes. It's all get out. I couldn't wait to sit in one. <laughs> they were awesome. Imagine if I was some community organizer and I was so lucky to receive an invitation to come talk about whatever issues. I mean, well, the first thing we would say is come sit a spell. A spell is how long it takes to really get to know someone, to yeah. know their value. Yeah. So as we start in this treehouse, uh -huh. the things that we form, we're gonna take out and shape our communities. Yeah. When you come together, you can kind of put away those things that keep us apart and focus on the things that, that really bring us together and make us stronger. Yeah. I'm really excited about the round table. It brings to the forefront the importance of spending time, the intimate relationship and getting to know people. With that, shall we go upstairs? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you better wow. I love it. Well, this Isn't is that awesome. fun? Oh, uh, yeah. That's this nice. is comfortable. Wow. I like this better than the than the throne. <laughs> you can have your thrones downstairs, then upstairs you can um, just sit down and, and enjoy and look out over everything. Oh, and we're gonna be able to see the kids when they come in. Yeah. Oh yeah, no kidding, right there. <laughs> you can be in one space, but you're still connected because you can see what's going on uh, at the upper level. <laughs> Please, okay. watch your head. Ah. I love it. Look at the kingdom. Look at the kingdom! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It was just a peaceful place to be able to look out uh, on the horizon and see uh, just a time of calm.